How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Toy Table, and I am your host, Steve, and I'm joined by a couple co-hosts here tonight. I got one co-host here on the arm of the couch named Bales, and here's our other fabulous co-host, Super Jumper Ken. Anyways, guys, to get to it, this is my DIY Hot Wheels display slash storage, and what it is, it is a CD tower and it has cds on it and to help them or to help them not roll off what i did is i put some hot glue on the edges and including in the back so they don't roll off the back when you take it off all right and i can comfortably sit fit six mostly six hot wheels except for some of the longer ones on each so roughly if i really really narrowed them down and i had the thinner cars i could probably fit close to 300 cars on here and it's totally adjustable oh just a little break here he thinks he's a hockey player everybody liked your skating video ken okay it's oh nice anyways yes back to this it is totally, totally adjustable. You know, if, if you got thicker cars, you just raise them up. On this case here, I just wanted to fit just, pretty much just as many as I could. It even, as I said, it, it even fits monster trucks, which is great for us. It fits two monster trucks comfortably, all right? And I suppose if it's higher up rather than on the ground like this, you could easily display some of those monster trucks in there. Um, I even got some of the, the flatbed trucks there in there and there's another one here that just kind of hangs over the top another idea I thought of doing this is once I get more organized I can easily kind of label you know Porsches and BMWs and on and on and on whatever also another idea I had with some of the tournaments we rerun you know um, depending on how many uh, levels you have you know the better the car the higher up it is on the level. Uh, what other ideas? Oh, <laughs> excuse me. So another thing, another idea I had, if if you had it more of a square, like you know, so you could reach in there. Another thing, some of you more creative guys or more DIY guys could easily probably run a strip of Christmas lights or LED lighting down and up. This would be more of a display case house. I suppose a DVD tower would work just as good or better because uh, you could fit, well, more cars on a DVD case. Um, so this here cost me eight, $8 for the tower. And then I went rooting through my CDs and I realized I didn't have a lot of CDs. There he is. He needs attention. And isn't there, you could probably read this I couldn't think of a better way to use up a Beyonce CD of my wife's. <laughs> there he is. Hi. Hi. Then, so I've got roughly $18 plus, or sorry, sh sh sorry, $8. And then I really couldn't find that many CDs, so I went on Kijiji, which is kind of a buy and sell type thing here uh, in Canada. And I got all these, roughly 260 CD cases for $10. So that was a steal. I doubt I'm ever going to need 260. Can I? I guess so. I guess we did it. What is this? Let's let's read it first before we open it. It is the Matchbox Racing Action Pack Die Cast Metal, or metal Vehicle. And it's got a really cool vehicle and all kinds of road signs. He's been wanting to open it all evening. A little two for one video action here on a Thursday evening. Oh, oh nice job. Whoops. Oh, I got the car. This one looks pretty wide. Hey, I think this is a Mustang opening hood. What does it say? I wonder. Uh, made in China, Matchbox toys. It is. It is hey, can you an IMSA Mustang. I can't open it. 
Oh. Can't open the rest? Okay, I'll have a look at the box here for a second. Action packs, collect them all. Emergency. Construction. Racing. I guess that's the one we got there, the second one uh, to the left. And then in here we get a, another street light, which we love our street lights. We get a one, two, three sign, a start finish little gate, and a neat little pylon, and then a racing thing. Oh, Ken. <laughs> All right, he was having trouble. I'm going to pause this one sec, guys. All right, yeah. So, anyways, there we go. We got a street light out of there. Nice. And then no. a, a one, two, three go. Another slippery road. Yeah. Oh, and then see that that sign's kind of neat. It uh, has like a little plastic thing, really delicate, but it holds that sign up like a real sign. And then it has this other kind of cool three-sided pylon. Look at it. Oh, nice job. Anyways, let's see, race cars on let's see whether this fits. I think it's kind of wide. Wah, wah. <laughs> too wide. It'll, it'll see whether you can jump it. See whether it, it'll go through your little push jump that we were using yesterday with the big trucks. I don't know. Pull it out of there. Now come down here and put it in here. Put it in this thing. The IMSA Mustang going for a ride. Oh, I think he's a little too thin too. That's okay. I think it's a little too short. Anyway, so roughly the glue, the glue gun cost me two dollars. I bought three things of glue for a dollar twenty-five each, and I still have one and a half of those left. And anyways, let's call it for twenty-four dollars. Well, I can still go for days as long as I keep finding at the thrift store. More of these CD towers. Uh, yeah, I'm liking how I'm gonna be able to store my cars now. Um, it doesn't really display them too much, but if you got them labeled, you know, you just go in there and you pull out what you want, right? Oh, anyways, so this fits well over 300 cars. I think, I think if I do them thin, I can fit, stop. I can fit 23 levels. On the narrowest, it would still be only the fit cars. So 23 times 6 times 2. Well, there he is. Okay, wait, Ken, I want to show them something. So there's that option to store cars, or you could be like me as well here today. And I haven't posted the video, but earlier I, I, I loaded it. I haven't posted it yet. But I did buy the Hot Wheels display. It was on for $80, but then another guy there, I figured, eh, maybe it's too new and it's not part of the deal. Another guy there, while we were there, started griping, made a big fuss all over about it, and they honored the deal. So he grabbed three, and I was like, whoa, Ken, we gotta go back and we gotta get another one. So we got this for roughly 40 bucks. But $40 for 50 cars, it says up to 50 cars too. So I suppose you can get small, some smaller ones. It's not adjustable, can't hold monster trucks, can't, I guess you can hold the, the, the uh, whatchamacallit. So that could be our little case of awesome there. And even when I brought this home here, Ken was so excited, he thought it was for him, which it kind of is, but uh, I think now that I got it loaded, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to it. And I gotta keep looking at those thrift stores for more CD towers. Anyways, thanks again for watching the toy table for myself. I'm gonna say bye. And Ken, you wanna say goodnight? Good night. And it Good is night. <laughs> Okay. Good night! And, bye! And, and, and Bales is looking for his comfort and quiet down here. Bye. We, we gotta make a little spot here. Okay, bye guys. Thanks for watching.